Hi guys, it's Lindsay Rem, and today I'm here with CoverGirl, and we are putting a spin on your average makeup tutorial. This is Wheel of Beauty, brought to you by CoverGirl. First, I'm gonna spin the wheel to find out my makeup theme. Then I'm gonna receive a bag full of makeup products that I can use. I'm going to spin the wheel, and I can't wait to see what I get. All right, here we go. Special occasion prom, I'm so excited for this. I actually did my makeup for all of my proms and formals. I love getting ready for special occasions. So here I have the makeup bag. Let's see what I have to work with. First thing I have in here is the True Blend Foundation, and this is in Classic Ivory. Next, I have the CoverGirl True Naked Palette in Nudes. Next, I have the True Blend Face Primer, and this is in Combination Skin. I also have the True Blend Bronzer. Then I have this True Naked Liner in Mocha and Ebony. I also have the CoverGirl Plumpify Mascara. And the very last thing I have in here is the Outlast Lipstick in the color Red Siren. So I think I'm gonna go for a look kind of centered around this lipstick because I really like how bold it is, but I'm going to go with like a bronzy eye and kind of glowy skin to kind of counteract the bright lips. So let's just get started with the eyes. I'm going to start out with the lightest shade and I'm just gonna apply this all the way from the lid to the brow bone as a base color. Next, I'm going to take this neutral brownish color and just put that in the crease because I wanna keep it simple. And I'm just using a fluffy brush so it's very diffused. So far, I love this palette. The colors are super blendable and some of these colors are matte and some of them are shimmery, which makes it very versatile. You can do so many different looks with it. After applying this base color, I am going to take this taupey shimmery shade. I'm going for a really sheer look on the eyes because I want the focus to be on the lipstick but I'm still taking some time to make sure it's nicely blended and it looks very just like natural and glowy. So now that the eyeshadow is blended out, I'm going to move on to eyeliner. I really love how this is double-sided because I always either go for either brown or black liner, so it's perfect that you can have both just like on hand at all times. So I'm gonna start out with the lighter brown shade and then fade it to the darker one as we get to the outer corner because like I said, I want it to be very natural but still have kind of a darker on the outer edges. I'm also gonna ever so slightly wing it out because I just feel like that's the most flattering for my eye shape but you can definitely do whatever suits you. And then as you apply it, I would recommend taking a tiny brush and kind of blending it into your eyeshadow so it stays very soft. The best thing about a smoky eyeliner look like this is that it doesn't have to be perfect because the point of it is that it's supposed to look just very effortless and go with the flow. This eyeliner is also waterproof, which is great because prom is always a very long night and you're probably gonna be dancing a lot and you wanna make sure that your makeup does not move. So I'm just about done. I'm gonna smoke this out a tiny bit more and then I'm going to move on to the next step. Now that the eyeliner is done, I am going to quickly put on some mascara. This is the Plumpify Mascara from CoverGirl. Whoa, this is the coolest brush I have ever seen. I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> I really like it. I feel like it's good for this look because it's very volumizing. It's great on lower lashes as well. It's not too thick and clumpy. If you kind of wiggle it at the base of your lashes, you'll get the most color there, so it'll look a lot thicker, which is just a little tip for you. I feel like the style of this brush does a really good job of combing through your lashes while also lifting them up because it's like all twisted. All the CoverGirl mascaras that I've tried have really liked. This seems like a very fun one. Now that the eyes are done, let's get on to the base. I'm going to be trying out the CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for combination skin. This should be perfect for my skin type because my skin is dry in some areas, but I get kind of oily in my T-zone, so this should do a good job of controlling that and keeping my foundation in place all night. Primers in general are a great idea for any sort of special occasion or night like prom because you are dancing and just staying up for a really long period of time, so you want your foundation to have a really good base from the start, and it'll just keep it going all night. Now that my primer is on, and has set for a minute, I'm going to put on the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation in Classic Ivory. I'm just gonna take one pump of this and apply this to the center of my face and blend outward because I don't like my foundation to be too heavy and I feel like that's where I need the most coverage. I also personally like to go for something lightweight even for special occasions because when it is something like prom, you're probably gonna have a lot of like fake lashes or just like a lot of things going on to begin with. So I like to keep my makeup pretty easy going. Now that my foundation is done, I'm going to apply some bronzer to just warm up my face. Bronzer is a great way to add some glow to your face if you're not feeling super glowy. And I'm going to apply it with the three motion on both sides of my face. 
I think this will photograph really well too because it just has such a nice glow to it. That gold will really pick up well in photography. Now we're on to the very last step, which is applying the lip color, and I'm super excited about it because I love orangey reds, and I feel like it'll just tie the whole look together. It'll really make you stand out within your whole entire prom group. It has a satin finish, so it's not too matte, and it will last the whole night because it's not too glossy either. It won't just glide right off. All right, so here is the finished look. I absolutely love how it turned out. I would totally wear this to a prom or formal, and I think opting for a slightly warmer lip color is a great tip if you want to stand out from the crowd. All right, guys, so let me know what you think of this look below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and comment below your thoughts. Click the link below for more Wheel of Beauty, and check out covergirl.com for more tips and tricks. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time on Wheel of Beauty.